Well, tonight, investigators bust a theft ring, and NBC 15 News is the only station there when it happens. The scam involves cars fraudulently purchased from dealerships and possibly sold to unsuspecting victims like you. Tonight, you may want to check your car and your credit score. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey was there this afternoon when investigators arrested an entire family for the crime, two brothers and their mother. Yeah, Kim and Greg and all three are going to be spending the night here at Metro Jail tonight. Investigators say essentially the brothers were stealing cars from car dealers using fake Social Security numbers during the loan application process. And by the time those applications were flagged, the cars were off the lot. The jolly spirits quickly deflated at this Carriage Hills house as investigators closed in today. Timothy Gamble didn't want to stick around for questioning, investigators say, and took off, crashing this car into a tree three miles away on Longleaf Drive. We know of at least seven vehicles right now that have been purchased fraudulently. From various dealerships. From Mobile and Baldwin County. Okay. And we do believe there will be more once we you know, do more digging. Not surprising news to neighbor Valerie Patterson. It's been a constant turnover of vehicles. I said somebody's making money somehow. How long has that been going on? Oh, it's at least a year. Four pit bulls were also removed. Investigators say they were eating one left dead in the backyard. It's really a shame, but I think that probably happened about three weeks ago because I remember hearing the dog screaming and hollering and then it stopped. Investigators say today's bus turned up fake car titles, fake social security cards, and documents indicating they were involved in a mail scam. We believe they're getting these cars and then selling them. Uh, you know, we found numerous documents that, that lead us in that direction. Investigators are still trying to determine what all the charges will be in this case. It's possible there will be federal charges. We do know tonight that one of the brothers 